school pilots to teachers to flight attendants to nurses that are pushing back against this in a peaceful and effective way hold the freaking line like this fight matters it absolutely matters this is not an anti-vaccine stance although there are people who are uh, against uh, the vaccine okay that's fine but more than anything like the mass protests that you are seeing around the world the protests that you are seeing here that very often aren't covered by the media the boycotts that you're seeing the walking off of jobs that you um are seeing it's a big massive pushback against these mandates against these passports that are a huge uh infringement upon people's liberty and their ability to provide for their families. And honestly, I just have so little understanding at this point of Christians who don't see what's happening, who don't see this as a huge infringement upon people's liberty, who don't see this as an injustice, who don't see why uh, all of these different restrictions, regulations, and mandates and passports have a cumulative effect of oppression and totalitarianism. How do you not see that that's where we're headed? Like, if you are someone over the past year who has talked about police brutality, and yet you're looking at what's going on in Australia where people are being beaten in the streets because of because they're peacefully protesting, you don't have anything to say about that, or maybe you think that's good, or maybe you think the police should be enforcing these vaccine mandates and vaccine passports and mask wearing and all of that. You're a giant hypocrite, and you don't see what's going on. Like, too many people did not pay attention in history class when it when it came to the history of the 20th century and the patterns that we see leading up to totalitarianism so many people are just so dedicated to believing that everything is well and good, that the right is always blowing things out of proportion, that everything is fine. It's okay that Australia, parts of Australia, have become a police state. It's okay that pastors are getting arrested in places like Canada. Oh, maybe they deserve it. Maybe it's really for our public health. It's fine that there's a mandate that is causing thousands of nurses to quit, uh, apparently in the midst of a pandemic that's putting a strain on our hospitals. Oh, it's fine that military servicemen and women who signed up to pay the ultimate sacrifice are now being booted out of the military because they won't get a vaccine that for a disease that they probably have natural immunity for, or if they don't, they simply don't want to get the vaccine and that choice should be honored. Oh, that's all fine. It's just a mask. It's just another restriction. It's just a mandate. It's, uh, you know, just the Biden administration saying that they are going to cut antibody supply to these certain southern states that won't go along with his authority mandates. It's fine. It's all for public health. You're asleep. You're asleep. And I just have so little patience for that anymore. How do you not see what's going on? How do you not see it? I don't know.